Libra, it's you and me. Let's do this. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, welcome to Mermaid in the Sea Tarot. So I just had the Backstreet Boys in my head. <laughs> Tell me why ain't nothing but a heart. Whatever that song is. Rupa. Let's do this. Invite in your spirit guides and guardian angels to keep you safe while we enter the spirit realm. Let's keep this reading accurate and specific and full of blessings. Calling in Archangel Michael. Archangel Gabrielle and the kind and compassionate water spirits of the West. Archangel Raphael and the kind and compassionate air spirits of the East. Let's cast a circle and do a reading. We're going to do the horseshoe, my favorite. We're going to use a few decks. Oh, look at that gorgeous moon popping in there. Oh. Let's add some information here. I'm going to talk this out. Create a story. You know, I've done love readings for so long, and lately I've just been craving general readings. Oh, freedom. Oh my god, I love when this happens. Look, the moon is carrying into... Oh! I feel I'm feeling a bit of non-sexual ecstasy right now <laughs> because when everything makes sense together, oh my God, yes, yes, bitch. We're going to leave these ones hidden. Yes, bitch. Let's add some animals to this fray. Bear with me. We're almost there. Oofy da get this one. See somebody driving a silver SUV. See somebody driving a blue truck. Someone with the initials Y A. Someone with the initials R T. Someone the age 39. Someone with uh, the 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 four numbers in their phone number as 0928 or 5289 or 7171 okay here we go this is where you're at right now black cormorant a good luck charm a visit to home and um the evening this represents the evening before a big event now i love the way this black cormorant is over top of this archway on this Ace of Pentacles. It means something. It feels synchronistic. It feels symbolic. It feels um, m mysterious and, and a bit of discretion in the truth here. That bird on top of this Ace of Pentacles represents, you know, a new job. It's, um, it can represent, though, you resisting moving forward in this instance now we're bringing in this queen of freedom right she's independent self self-determination and in this instance the wings are down in her instance the wings are up so one is in resting one is ready to take flight where are you at libra uh i feel like she's about to go through this doorway she's done resisting her dark night of the soul she's done being penetrative with the dark night of the soul. That's been enough deep shit. Now it's time for some pleasure, some goodness, some ecstasy. I love the color coordination here. We see the light, uh, the sun barely beaming through, but it's still beaming. I love the light cord the color coordinations with all these cards. They resonate. They make a situ they make a story together, right? They feel like they're coded in some kind of sacred geometry from from the stars that allows you and I to have this moment of validation that you are on the right path and what you're feeling is validated. <clears throat> All right. 
the Blue Jays. Maybe you're heading to Toronto in the summer, right? Longevity, a new idea, and you have a unique personality. So these are, these are traits you can put on your dating app. Hey, I'm expecting longevity from you if you want to start talking with me. I'm always coming up with new ideas for how our relationship can grow and improve. And I do have a unique uh, personality. So we're going to look at these with the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is often distant love. It is sav somebody who is savvy. It is an indication to change your password. Uh, it is a firm decision to move forward. Plans are well underway in you. See you with this energy field adjustment. This is you holding the moon. This is you holding the sun. Whatever you resonate with, maybe you have a day chart, maybe you have a night chart. Regardless of your birth chart, it's you holding a huge solar system within you that is ready to be shared in a very balanced way. Right, so we're moving, let's just say this is the sun coming up on her. The sun is rising and we're ending this short scenario with the moon. The sun and the moon, which are the opposite, maybe you're about to attract somebody opposite of who you've ever been with or been established with. These cards resonate because these two people are looking at each other just like these two are. She, of course, is staring at her soul. She's looking at herself in a very unique perspective. She's considering all her traits and her soul is saying, yeah, yeah, that's you, that's you, that is you, I love you. What you contemplate can actualize, right? So the moon is sometimes a secret being re revealed. It can represent somebody who is moody. Uh, it can represent supernatural sex, like when you meet somebody and the sex is just on fire. Can be the number 18. Where are we gonna, oh yeah, the peacock, rejuvenation and dreaming big. So here we go. I really wanted to remind you that the story is moving forward. We've got the morning into the evening. We've got the solar sun into the mysterious moon, right? There's connection, there's going forward energy. This is an unexpected event occurring. There is, let's just see, what is, what is the secret that's going to be re revealed to you? What is the secret? The death card, right? You know what that means. It can be a Scorpio, but it, more than anything, it can be um, just somebody coming up to you and saying, hey, I'm starting new. I'm getting divorced. I've got a new beginning. Do you want to move in together? Do you want to try making this you and me? right? The star represents synchronicity. Again, symbology. It'll happen. The secret gets revealed during Aquarius season. The clouds part and in walks a partner. And they've got a secret about their marriage dissolving. Oh yeah, the tower. So this is you having an unexpected moment where the universe, like if this were the queen of wands, it would be people you meet that change your life. Because this is the tower, it is situations that occur that change your life. Not always bad. So did you go bad? Then you need to you know, change the perspective where your brain is. But look at this divine sensuality. She's making love. She is erotic. And is she you or is she the partner you're beaming into your life? So the bumblebee is a community and, and maybe reconsidering um, where you're at. So here you are. Someone's about to come forward with a secret that involves their marriage ending, that involves you maybe living with them or them proposing some kind of communal energy between the two of you. Maybe their initials are B, B. I like how this represents each other. Do you see that? I like, how, I like, I love that. Like there's, there's, these cards are similar. So you, this is you mirroring a soul with somebody else's energy, right? And there's, there's this 
light in the background, the bee providing the light for the flower and this opening that occurs. A very unique opening occurring for you. That's, that, that should be within Aquarius season. And this, this, these cards represent from now until October. The reindeer being creative. Oh, accepting your lineage with the tree of life and a possible inventor. Maybe you need to trademark something. Uh, so the lineage, the tree of life, is perhaps you're dealing with some kind of ancestral um, cleaning. Um, ancestral, uh, you know, creation, a story in your ancestry that needs to be dissipated by your magical soul right now. Right, that Knight of Cups reversed <clears throat> is, uh, it can represent somebody who is br bringing the drama. It, for me, it's the number seven, something about the seven. So the Ten of Wands is the end of a story for somebody so this is somebody coming to you with the truth. Uh, it can be a lucky omen, which we started off with, the good luck charm. So starting this reading and ending this reading with all about good luck charms and omens, which is, you know, kind of a happy place to be. Oh, and here's a queen of wands. So remember I said with the tower, it is a case of um, the universe creating instances uh, of events occurring that change your life. In this case, the Queen of Wands, she represents um, meeting people who change your life. What a fascinating 2023 you're looking at, Libra, right? You're, I think this came up the other day. You're done sacrificing who you are to please others. Came up in one of the shorts. And look at this, the sanctuary of privacy and and um, your private space, your personal space, respecting boundaries and taboos. I feel like the taboo is going to come from your ancestry that you're going to start digging in. You're going to feel this undeniable urge to check into your ancestry and clean the soul bonds and the soul connections up a bit more. Now you know... I always love checking how these play in together color-wise and body image-wise, right? I feel like this is the water just continuing on. Hold, this is the water holding her mermaid tail and tub to ensure she experiences some kind of passion, right? I need you to read between, to hear between the lines here. Libra with what I'm talking about. So this Queen of Wands, okay? This Queen of Wands is on her back. Spirit guide, or is this sacrificial mermaid the spirit guide to you as the Queen of Wands? You can be someone's life changer. You can be someone's catalyst. And I feel like that's what's coming for you in 2023. You are going to be somebody's catalyst and it's part of your soul connection because of your ancestry. <laughs> I love that. I love this reading. I love this reading. Each day you're going to look at that workout tracker, the spirit tracker, the love tracker, the money tracker, pleasure tracker, hydration tracker, development and surrender tracker. Before you go, I just wanted to show you my latest book on Amazon. The link is below, In Search of Dracula in a Moonshot Sky. If you like erotic and a bit of goth, this is a poetic and erotic search for Dracula. So there's a little bit of my artwork in it, but more than anything, it's poetry. It's erotic poetry. Now, before you go, I want to show you my other book, too. This is my Temple of a Space Kitten. The link is also below, and it is just all my art, my watercolor art in one book. These are both priced really reasonable for what you get. Links are below. Thank you.